Oh my God, hey everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to Stoner Girl Otaku. <laughs> You're back already? Duh. Cause I'm making a video back to back. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hey everybody, welcome back to Stoner Girl Otaku. It's your girl Anae here, and I'm back with part two of my Stoner Girl Otaku The Re-Up Road to 100 Funko Pop update. As you saw my first video of this one, I just showed you my pops that were all like miscellaneous. All of these pops are my anime pops. I have a lot of them. Um, as I said in my last video, I um, had to do these videos because I moved into my place. Congratulations to me. I moved into my place and I had all my Funko Pops boxed up and, well, packed up. Mm, excuse me. I had all my Funko Pops packed up and I told myself I was not going to unpack them until I made the video for you guys. So I finally got on it and decided to make a video for you guys so that I can unpack them. So, again, this is part two of Sony Girl Talk with the Re Up Road to 100 Funko Pop update. As I told you in my last video, the last time you guys saw me, I had like 30 some odd pops and my collection was only worth $384. Now, it's worth way more. If you want to know how much it's worth, um, go to the video that was before this one and watch it so you can see how much my collection is worth and you can see all that good stuff from the Funko Pop app and you see my special pops. That's what I call pops that are of different size and there's a special two pack in there. Again, hopefully you're here because you saw the video. If not, go watch the video. Again, go watch the video. If you don't watch it, I understand, but I don't see why not. If you want to know how much my collection is worth, you really go watch the video. But anyway, I'm here to show you guys my anime Funko Pops that I got during my hiatus. Um, as you guys know, I love anime Pops. That's what my collection is majority made up of because who doesn't love anime? That's why, probably why you guys are here. You guys know from the name, Soda Girl Otaku, I wouldn't be an Otaku if I So, let's get into my anime Funko Pops. Again, I hope you guys are subscribed to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hopefully by the end of this, you'll like this video and it will inspire you to watch more of my videos and you can like them as well. And hopefully you guys have already hit the bell and you got the update for this video. Well, the notification that this video's come out. And if you haven't, then ring the bell. Cause I have one more video about Funko Pops. This time, it's about a mystery subject. Stay tuned, you might find out what it's about. It's kind of special to me, it's also a funny story. So, yeah. But anyway, let's get into my anime Funko Pops. Um, hope you like them. All right, you guys. So the first show of anime Pops we're gonna start with is My Hero Academia really excited i figured it'd be only right to start with these being that season five is coming out well from right now in like two weeks and i was like might as well start with these bad boys right here in honor of season five coming out and just the simple fact that the manga is amazing right now shout out to all my manga readers let's get into my collection though so my fave is shinzo and since we're starting off with season five, I figured let's start with my baby Shinzo. He is a GameStop exclusive. That's Shinzo. He is my favorite. He's always been my favorite just because I love his character design. I love his cork. I just love his personality. And I also like that Izawa Sensei has taken a liking to him. That's all I'm gonna say. So yeah, we have Shinzo. And then we have another kind of sort of exclusive. It's part of the Funko Club. And it's Mina. And it's the metallic version. So it's really dope because her acid looks really very much like the acid like in the show. So we have Mina. She's one of my favorites. And then my fave villain. My girl Toga. 
love her. I had to get Toga, especially with the mask and you know the little blood sucking thing. Oh my god. I love Toga. Tell my margaritas. I know you guys have to love Toga, especially after this last arc that we were just on. Again, that's all I'm gonna say, but we have Toga. And then the dynamic <laughs> duo that has a lot of family function, dysfunction, but we still here. Um, I searched high and low for this Todoroki Funko Pop. This was the only Todoroki, Todoroki Pop I wanted because it's the fire and ice one and it's so freaking amazing. My manager, well, one of the managers from my job, he actually found this and gave it to me because he had two. And I lucked up and got him. What? Then we have his dad, Endeavor. Again, to my manga readers, you like, you have to give it up for Endeavor after these past couple arcs he's been in. The character growth and development this man has had is amazing. If you don't read the manga, read the manga. But even though you are seeing it in the show, like, season four you start started seeing it and you'll see more in season five but endeavor love him love this pop him and Todoroki's pop is like fire no pun intended and so hello kitty and my hero academia did a collab and since i could never get <laughs> fropey i can't find her pop anywhere i got this one because it's the second best and actually, something about my childhood, um, Kuropi is my favorite character in the Hello Kitty, like, Sanrio line. Like, he's my favorite. I have, like, a thousand notebooks and stationery sets with just him. So that was another reason why I got this one as well. So that's all my My Hero Academia pops. All right, let me lay out the next show and we'll get into that one. All right, so I stand. That's 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 all I can say. I have the new team setting. Mind you, this Mitsuki pop is one of the sickest pops I own. It's Mitsuki in sage mode. It glows in the dark. It's 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 literally one of the best pops I have. It's one of my favorite pops. Like that's why we start off with this one. Amazing. I love this pop. Then of course I couldn't have Boruto. If once I got Mitsuki, I knew I had to get the entire Team 7, and I did. So next up is Boruto doing jutsu. Not with any ninja tools. <laughs> but we got Boruto here. What? I'm still watching Boruto. I'm caught up on the manga. And I'm just getting back into the anime because we're finally at something I know about. And I'm like a bunch of episodes behind. But my favorite character from Boruto is Sarada. It sucks that she doesn't have the Sharingan. Like, that's the downfall to this. It hurts my heart. But it doesn't matter because I love Sarada anyway. So we have Sarada. We have Boruto. We have Mitsuki. What? I love. Um, I actually got, I didn't get Mitsuki from Hot Topic, even though it's in Hot Topic exclusive. I got it from Amazon. I lucked up. I spent $15 for this. And it was worth every, every $15. It was worth it completely. Um, I got Boruto as a gift. And then Sarada. I believe I found Sarada at Books A Million. So yeah, that's the story on Sarada. But new Team 7. Amazing. 
next one's coming up. So we went from Boruto to Naruto Shippuden. Um, I believe these are my besides Naruto at the Final Valley. Oh no, they're not. I'm looking at my two. My boys right here. Hmm. So I have a few Naruto pops. I'll probably have a whole thing for you. No, I won't. <laughs> so we have Orochimaru again. Maybe not one of my favorite characters. I got put a lot of respect on my boy's name, but Hirochimaru, this is another one. I think they just made Hirochimaru's and Mitsuki's pops like really amazing. Cause that was part of the reason why I got this. This was really dope. It's a really great design. Um Hirochimaru is one of my one of the better character designs. So of course I got Hirochimaru. Then same thing is Kaguya and Black Zetsu. Right? I love the little details they put in there. Um, everybody's watched Shippuden by this point. If you haven't, definitely go watch it. Naruto is one of my favorite freaking animes. Definitely watch Naruto. Watch Shippuden. You can skip over some fillers, but not all filler. But yeah, this Kaguya Pop, again, I got this one because it's really beautiful. I love the, like, having Black Zetsu on there was a great part of the design. I wish they would have included him didn't it's fine and then of course Kaguya with the Sharingan and the Byakugan she's like she's a she's really beautiful and this pop is like adorable doesn't show her beauty as much but oh my god adorable and then a GameStop exclusive I got Madara reanimated one of the sickest fight scenes in the world comes from this man right here and he was reanimated Madara is up there at one of the best Uchiha of course I personally think Itachi is the best Uchiha but Madara set the standard so I have Madara love this pop love Madara love all Uchiha's honestly but um yeah so we got Madara Next up, taking it back to the old school. <laughs> Again, you know I love a pop from my childhood. Um, I have three of my favorite Pokemon. I'm missing one. Obviously, I'm missing Squirtle. Haven't been able to find it and I keep missing it, but. <gasps> I put these three as priority and I probably should have just got Squirtle when I had the chance, but. Anyway, I have Charmander. He's so adorable, right? Oh my god. I love a Charmander. So adorable. Now, I'm not like well versed in Pokemon. I'm not even going to lie to you. My daughter loves Pokemon to death. And I can't even keep up with it. Because like I said, I'm straight old school like these three like what because all like what there's so many pokemon now next up my favorite pokemon though is bulbasaur he is my favorite pokemon because i've always loved how tough and like he was always so like man fuck that or like he either is man fuck that or i'm gonna fuck you up and I love that. You know I love an aggressive little character, but yeah. I have Bulbasaur, that's my baby. Like, I love him. And then my second favorite Pokemon is Pikachu. And I had to get this Pikachu because that's why I fell in love with Pikachu because he's not just a little happy fella all the time. He look angry, gets a little grumpy, like, oh. So these are three Pokemon pops I got. I'll be getting more because I watch more Pokemon now with my daughter because she's like so obsessed with it. So look out for some more, look out for more Pokemon Pops coming to my collection because look at these, they're just adorable. They're just adorable, right? Exactly. 
All right, you guys, I'm getting into the last leg of my anime Funko Pops. I have some Dragon Ball Pops here that range from Dragon Ball all the way to Dragon Ball Super. So let's go ahead and get into them, right? So first up, you know, I love me some Bulma. So I got Bulma from Dragon Ball Z. Oh my god, like she's just so cute and chic. I just love this one. I love this Bomba Pop. It's like, out of all my Bomba Pops, I think this is my second favorite because I do love her in Dragon Ball in the classic Dragon Ball first time you meet Bomba outfit. So we have Bomba. And then we have Perfect Cell. Right? This one, again, I love getting a good pop that just looks cool. And this looks dope af like when you see my next video you'll see some more dope perfect cell stuff hmm. next up i had to get future trunks because i have future trunks from dragon ball super and if you're a dragon ball fan you know one of the major differences between the two of them and of course you know it's because of the whole timeline thing but i have future trunks from Dragon Ball Super and of course I had to get trunks from Dragon Ball Z because that's when I first fell in love with trunks future trunks has the best arcs to me they have he has the best arcs like and also I got perfect cell because the cell games are my favorite um that's my favorite arc of Dragon Ball Z so of course I had to get him so again, I was telling you about my Mega Man pop in the last video and how I've been getting pops that come with shirts. I have Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. It's a GameStop exclusive. Also, two things about this pop that I really like is the shirt I got with it is dope AF. And another thing is it glows in the dark. And it really glows in the dark. Hopefully I can get some footage of it glowing in the dark. It scared the shit out of me one night because I said, what the hell is that looking at me? And it was just Gohan. So, here we go. And then, of course, this is Goat Gohan. I mean, Gohan is one of the goats, but this, like, when Gohan was a kid in Dragon Ball Z, he was killing it. So, the shirt's dope. The pop's dope. Had to get it. Speaking of dopeness from Dragon Ball Z, what? Now, it doesn't glow in the dark, but by God, is this not one of the best pops you've seen? Not to mention, I love Vegeta. Like, I love him. So, of course I had to get this pop. As I said before, um, I pre-ordered, I pre-ordered a lot of my pops, and I saw this on the Funko Pop app again. If you don't have it, make sure you get it, because that's how you stay up to date on all the latest pops. Once I saw it was making Majin Vegeta, I said, oh my god, need it, have to pre-order it, and I did. Then I have Vegeta from Dragon Ball Super. If you don't know this outfit, this is when, this is like at the beginning of Super, when he's like all laid back and chilly, it takes trunks and bomb on that vacation it was so sweet so again like i said i love vegeta so i had to get another vegeta pop then i have my girls Kalifla and kale what? right so of course i had to get two of the dopest female saiyans going super saiyan uh, Caulifla is my favorite out of the two. So, of course, I got her. And then, of course, I couldn't get her without getting Kale. Because they, like, they come together. So, I got Caulifla and Kale. I love them. I love their pops. I, I really enjoy how pops, like, pop with color. Corny joke. And I said it. So, yeah. And then we have Future Mai. I couldn't have future trunks without having my because hello y'all saw the arc y'all know what happened y'all know how much they love each other so I got them because they're a couple and I had to get them and I love my because future trunks loves her 
and from Dragon Ball, I got Emperor Pilaf holding a Dragon Ball. And I'm like, told, oh, let me find a way, let me find a sweet spot. There we go. Um, I just enjoy Emperor Pilaf in Dragon Ball, just his whole entire existence in Dragon Ball. He's, if you haven't seen Dragon Ball, by the way, I definitely suggest you go back and watch it because it's one of my favorite, it's my favorite out of all the Dragon Ball franchises. I love Dragon Ball because it's the story from the beginning. And if you guys didn't know that Emperor Pilaf was in Dragon Ball, he's been around since day one, then you obviously haven't seen Dragon Ball. So yeah, of course, I got Emperor Pilaf because it's Dragon Ball and it's Emperor Pilaf and obviously I have a thing for Dragon Ball Pops. So those are all my anime pops that I got in. And that was the close up. And yeah, that sums it up for these two videos. Well, there you have it you guys. That is all my pops that I have on this road to 100. In this episode of Stone Girl Otaku, the real, this was the second this was the second video in the Road to 100. Um, so I'm gonna talk about the real Funko Pop update. This is my third Funko Pop update. I believe it's my third or fourth. I'm pretty sure it's my third. This will be like my fourth, fifth video for it. Who's keeping track? You guys should be. So go back and watch those videos and you tell me. No, I'm just playing. But seriously, if you guys enjoyed, this video if you guys enjoy collecting Funko Pops I definitely definitely want you to subscribe and like because I have like a thousand more Funko Pops I just pre-ordered like three more the other day but they keep coming out with great Funko Pops and I should have them really soon because they're coming out within the next couple weeks um so yeah subscribe to the channel if you collect Funko Pops and you just enjoy anime overall I have a really great video coming up that I should be shooting very soon. I want to shoot it tonight, but who knows if I'm really going to shoot it tonight. <laughs> anyway, if you guys are subscribed to the channel, thank you for being subscribed. Thank you for bearing with me in my little hiatus. Thank you for bearing with me in all these changes. <laughs> thank you for giving me a reason to unpack all these Funko Pops. Because now I can put them all over my house and I don't have to have them sitting in a bin. I'm super excited about that. Um, again, this was my anime Funko Pops. I have a whole buttload of them. It was a lot. I had a lot to get through, and I got through them. Again, if you want to know the value of my collection, it's in the four digits. So, watch that video. The first Road to 100 video that tells you about the Funko Pop app and all that wonderful great math how I broke that all down for you even though I kind of like look lazy with it <laughs> but definitely if you collect Funko Pops definitely check out my videos um all those links are gonna be down there at the bottom sadly I can't provide you links for all of these Funko Pops I've been getting them mostly just like from the mall like from going to GameStop going to Books a Million hitting up all those good places however there is a Funko Pop that I will be ordering from directly from Funko, so fingers crossed that I get it on time. Because I really, 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 and other things, not so many Funko Pops because I have to like slow down, right? Probably won't though. But I'm definitely gonna get back into collecting my manga. So I haven't really discussed it on my channel, but I'll be doing that. So I'll probably do a little intro to my manga collection. I have some uh, some special books in my collection. I have one on the way. And I recently uh, started reading some um, horror manga type things um, because if you watch my my stone of girl academia genres 101 video I picked out a genre that is closely related to horror 
scary type stuff. If you don't know what I'm saying, I'm saying go watch that video. But um, I started reading some different types of anime or different types of manga because of me branching off into different types of genres of anime so be on the lookout for that video of course be on the lookout for the next don't go time to be video and thank you again for sticking with me during this hiatus i promise you i'm going to be start being way more consistent now so just look out for those videos and keep me motivated if you like can i say this in most of my videos and it's at the end it's out my out it's in my outro make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms twitter instagram i even got on tiktok i haven't made a tiktok in a while though i'm not even gonna lie to you but again thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for being subscribed if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe to the channel and be on the lookout for my next video which is going to be on mystery boxes because i just recently fell into that pit of hell <laughs> i have to stop buying funko pops it's like my obsession but i recently started um getting into the mystery boxes so the last video for this stoner girl talk with the Rio, my funko pop update last update will be about my mystery boxes and then as i said just a few moments ago be on the lookout for my my stone to go Taku academia genres 101 i got into my first genre i really dove into it like i it's actually become one of my favorite genres so yeah definitely check that out that video is on the way maybe i'll shoot it tonight maybe i won't who knows but <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And